Apple Island is one of the best dive sites in the world, but it can be a long trip. For me, I started in Providence, Rhode Island, flew to Manila, then to Maggette. Once there, a 30-minute bunker ride brought me to beautiful Apple Island. Eager to start filming, I took a quick look at the map, put on my gear, and dove into the clear, blue, warm waters. My guide, Ian, knows where to find the fish. This sleek pair of big-eyed jacks leads a whole school in just 10 meters of water. But when I gaze down at the ocean floor, I see a mysterious wave. I descend deeper for a closer look. It's an army of hungry, striped eel catfish. This stately green turtle is the master of Zen buoyancy control. These coral shrimp fish apparently didn't get the memo about which way fish are supposed to swim. This red fire goby is a fine swimmer, but seems to be having trouble deciding which way to go. And this school of squid has the same problem. These beautiful clownfish spend their day trying not to get tangled up in the sea anemone's tentacles. At first, this green turtle just seemed camera shy, but then I realized he must be on a mission. Could there be something really tasty down there? I started to worry as he wedged himself deeper and deeper between the rocks. Turtles are nothing if not persistent, and this one extricated himself and went on with his day. This jellyfish seemed to have lost all sense of direction and swam upside down until he crashed into this sticky crinoid. Lots of vigorous pulsations later, None the worse for wear, he finally escaped. This ornate ghost pipefish tries to remain motionless and disappear in plain sight. A dragon sea moth creeps along the bottom, searching for food. This short-tailed snake eel has his own spot in the sand, but these garden eels prefer company. The lizard fish would rather be left alone. And this armored flathead just wants to chill. But if you really want a nice burrow, why not get some shrimp to dig it for you? This goby stands guard while his friends do all the work. This gorgeous nudibranch stretches his long neck so that the orange rhinophores perched on his head can better sense chemicals in the water. But no matter how enchanting the undersea world around Apple Island, sometimes one just has to swim back to the surface. <laughs>